Now I would like to demonstrate image formation using a converging lens. I'm going to use this converging lens and this object. Uh, let's take a look at what that object uh, is. It's an arrow point painted on a, a light globe here. And when I face that arrow toward the lens, then the light from that object will pass through the lens and onto the receiving surface over here. Now what we'll do is uh, demonstrate that as we take a look at uh, moving the lens to di different positions. We'll see what happens to the relationship between the image and the object as we change the object distance with respect to the converging lens. So now we have our optical system set up here with the object and the lens and the screen here to receive the image. And so uh, next what we'll do is we'll turn the intensity up on the light so that the image shows up on the screen. And we can see that the uh, image distance compared to the object distance is shorter. The image is inverted and it's a real image or we wouldn't be able to form it on the screen. It's also inverted, and uh, so we have an inverted real image in the case of the lens when the object is a few focal distances away. So now that we've got the, uh, the light from the object projected through the lens onto the screen, I'm going to uh, take this uh, empty socket here, and I'm going to uh, put that right near the image and see if we can make it look like the image is hanging from this socket. Now it's going to be an inverted image and the socket is inverted so the image should fit right into the socket here. Let's try that and see what happens. Okay, so now what we want to do is take a look at it from back behind the lens looking toward the object through the lens and see if we can see that image hanging from that socket when I remove the screen. So now we have a camera looking at the screen from the back side and I'm going to remove that screen and hopefully the camera will be able to take a look at that hanging light globe image as if it were hanging from that socket. To do that I'm going to turn the intensity down a little bit so that uh, we have better uh, light contrast when we actually look through the uh, through the lens at the light source. And now the image is still there, it's just not bright enough to be seen through this paper screen. And when I remove the screen, there is the image as if it were hanging upside down from that light socket. Notice it's a, it's a real image, it's inverted, and slightly reduced in size from the object.